in today's video, guys, I want to share with you a budget-friendly team that will enable you to get over 22 million damage on Ascatius, the Chief Challenge. This one will get 100% more lightning damage. Now, if you are familiar with Ascatius, by now, most probably you know what he does. Pretty much, he's going to do the exact same thing in here. The Dance of Misfortune is live in Dragon Air Silent Gods for players that are in Season 4. Now, one thing to keep in mind, guys, we have six different bosses. I already made different videos on them, but what I would suggest you is to pick the easier bosses first, okay? Try to do your first three teams uh, in the last day before the weekly reset on the three easiest bosses, then move over to the fourth one, which again uh, will not be the hardest, and leave the hardest boss for the fourth week, basically, okay? That's my recommendation to you, because like this, you're going to be able to get overall a better score on the leaderboard. First, I want to say a big thank you to Dragoner for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are new around here, you can download the game by using the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or by scanning the QR code you see on the screen. Chief Challenge, Scatius, 100% more lightning damage. You want to get to 22 plus million damage. You guys know the drill already. I'm going to use a pretty uh, free-to-play team, to be honest with you guys. Uh, this is the team that we're running right here. We have Nimbus, we have uh, Garius, we have uh, Altair. We have Vanny and we have Yola. I do have three mythical artifacts. The one that you get for free in season two from defeating the uh, Feymander, Gatekeeper Staff, which is Remains. And then we have two legendary ones, the Matriarch's Gem and we have the Wine of Dragon Blood. I am using some mythical gear because uh, why not? Um, mythical gear free to play has nothing to do with uh, one another. Uh, I am using crit rate gloves. I haven't went with crit damage ones to get like insane stats let me just quickly show you the builds as well guys so you get an idea of what we are running in terms of stats so this is my nimbus right here of course all of the characters are fully scrolled uh he doesn't really have full crit rate uh he has under a uh, 100 percent crit damage uh 5k attack which is fairly decent Garius, you do want to have him on an ancestral protection set of course he's very good because uh, he can cleanse with uh the ultimate skill, which will remove the burn from him, so the boss won't really get to do insane damage versus our Garius. Then uh, we have Altair. Again, nothing too insane in terms of stats. We are going to be at 99 crit rate when we are using the ultimate skill with the Wine of Dragon Blood. Uh, we do have some attack speed, which will actually be really, really beneficial for our characters. That's the main thing that will uh really give you a damage boost with this team is having a lot of attack speed will be very very important uh decent is stats though we have 112 uh crit damage on this one then we have vanny she does have the matriarch's gem she has the highest crit damage in the entire team and she is on full crit rate because of the matriarch's gem guys this gives us 40 percent crit rate and uh, the excess of crit rate over 100 percent will be transformed into crit damage so she does have a fairly decent uh build but no mythical piece on her so that will reduce the damage a little bit then we have yola you definitely want to have a, a serial set uh on the debuffer to ensure that you're gonna get increased attack on your characters is massive okay like it's a no-brainer you need to do it if you haven't done it that's that's basically key in order to uh, ensure that you have a good amount of damage we are using a defense aura in terms of skill timing uh, i don't really have a timing on Garius, to be honest. He's already at 18 seconds. He's constantly going to use the ultimate at the same time, but which is actually going to be good. Uh, I will probably delay this by a little bit. Like this, I'm going to basically ensure that uh, I'm going to be kind of like spot on uh, with the shield and the ultimate from uh, from Garius, with a heal, basically, you know. So uh, it's going to be right before the boss is using the ultimate skill to knock down all of my uh, all of my uh, back row. So Garius goes to Scatius. Scatius will only be able to attack uh, the tank with uh, the first uh, two skills. Then with the ultimate, he will cover the entire area. Uh, you're not going to be able to dodge it, but you do want to position your characters at the back. So basically, Scatius won't be able to uh, deal damage on, uh, on them as well. You can always do like this if you want. You know, like, it's, it's fine. Nothing, nothing really is going gonna, is gonna to happen in here. Because only Garius will actually get hit, as you may notice. By the battle skill, you know. But then the ultimate, then the ultimate will uh will get to do a lot of uh, a lot of work in here, you know. So this should uh, give us a good amount of uh, damage. You see the ultimate smashing, uh, smashing everyone. Uh, 
if you can try to do it to pull attack down on the boss before he's using the ultimate will be great uh, i'll be honest it will be pretty hard to uh, time uh, yola to do that because uh, she doesn't really have a lot of skill haste uh, if we would get a lot of skill haste on her that would be kind of like a different story because we would be able to basically uh don't get overlapped by the boss kind of like follow the same cycle and like that we're constantly going to have decreased attack the good thing is as well that while the boss is dealing damage right now it's not a crazy amount of damage and we are basically going to get overlapped in a second the good thing is that slowly we're going to cycle back towards the ultimate skill you see right now we're placing the decrease attack now but slowly we're basically going to gain ground on the boss again and by the time we are getting towards the towards the end of the fight where he gets to hit uh, to hit much much harder uh, we're basically going to be uh, uh, having decrease attack on the boss again you know so that's that's the good part that's the good part you know we have unlanded defense down there unfortunately but we're still doing pretty good damage like uh altair you have nimbus doing a great uh, a great job vanny not uh, not too bad either you know considering that she doesn't have a mythical uh, uh gauntlet to actually get some uh, damage boost in there i feel like she's doing pretty pretty well but look at the damage it's, it's definitely slapping we are two minutes in 16 million damage uh if you don't have mythical pieces if you don't have the psychic or where i have it you don't have to worry about it like you're gonna be able to score 22 million damage with this team without a problem like it's it's a walk in the park basically with what we have right here if the team survives all the way to the end uh, we're actually gonna be able to deal way more than 22 we're basically gonna double so we're gonna go like 40 plus million damage you know which is such an excessive amount of damage but it's fine because it will help you on the leaderboard and that is very very important uh there are some different strong teams that you can use in here if you're a, a player that has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, legendary characters available i was gonna say if you're a whale but then wait because not only whales can have good characters right so if by any chance you have a percunte if you have uh, uh if you have uh, some other amazing characters you can definitely get a solid amount of damage you know i haven't really tried to see if a team with evelios terrivol uh and a nimbus for example will out damage uh or fina with uh with percunte most probably they won't but just kind of like a curiosity you know you see right now we're back with a decrease attack for the ultimate that's when you want to have that decrease attack like garius is fine he's going to be able to uh, survive just fine on its own right there he doesn't actually require any any support from the rest of the team uh but the rest of them do require a bit of a uh, bit of support in here you know so the boss is dealing a good chunk of uh, of damage having that shield from the gatekeeper staff is actually very helpful uh if you don't have that most probably you're not going to survive as much but still you will get uh uh to 22 million damage damn again no defense down yola what are you doing now it would be bad if uh my team will have burn stacks on them because the scatias will really really smack us like that you know that would definitely be bad okay 35 million damage we still have 47 seconds so basically we have time for a, a couple of more uh, ultimate skills seems like myola she is a bit uh, a bit low right there she needs a bit of a healing and i don't think we're gonna get a decrease attack this time around okay 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 we managed to survive without a problem and we basically need to survive one more cycle and uh job done will be job done at least we have defense down right now we reached over 40 million damage pretty solid guys like look at my rare characters right altair is doing an amazing job comparing him with nimbus It's not such a massive difference from a rare character to an epic one right and uh, vanny as well just the two of them on their own they managed to score the 22 million damage the two rare characters without the uh, the epic one now if you are by any chance struggling to keep your team alive you can always introduce another support instead of one of these damage dealers as i just mentioned if you're looking at altair and uh, vanny they have 23.5 million damage on their own without bringing in nimbus with his own 14 million damage so keep that in mind uh, it's definitely going to be 
very, very uh, helpful uh, if you're struggling to bring in another support character, you know. Let me just quickly show you, for example, uh, another couple of combinations that you could make for the uh, lightning uh, theme. So this right here will already be a very solid one. If you have uh, uh, Fathom down, I would suggest you to keep him for a different boss where he's getting a bit harder. I feel like the ultimate best tank right here is going to be Garius. If you're struggling, you can always bring in Arthrath and then just bring in Yola. Yola, again, she's great to put defense down and decrease attack. If by any chance you don't have Yola, maybe you're going to have a Rose available. I kind of doubt it. Uh, if you don't have that either, your best option will be an Irina too to put the attack down and deal a bit of additional damage. But it's going to be pretty hard for you to have a very consistent uh, defense down. I know you can do it with Arthrath, but she's really not consistent in putting defense down. It's the gap in between her hits is just uh, is just too long and it takes a very long time to do so. You can use, if you like, uh, melee characters. Melee characters will be smacked very hard versus this boss because of the burn. They don't cleanse themselves and that will require you to bring a cleanser. If not, they're going to die extremely quick. So I would not recommend you to use any melee characters whatsoever versus this boss. But you can do, as a different idea, another theme. So. Uh, right here, if we're going to go to create again, Lightning Radiance, we do have a lot of big boy uh, Lightning Legendaries, right? So uh, definitely keep that in mind. You can always play a Zephy uh, and uh, have a tank if you really need to. Uh, put an unkillable on uh, uh, 18 seconds and always use it before the ultimate skill. That's an idea. Uh, I don't think it's a necessity. Now, if you're going with that, if you're going with that, uh, and then from here on again, if you bring in some more uh, range characters that can actually get the job, uh, the job done, like Nimbus. Nimbus is doing an awesome job. I'm curious how much damage we will this team actually get. Very, very curious. Probably they will get a good chunk, but I don't think they'll be able to beat the team that I just showed you before. I have a feeling that they just won't be able to get uh, uh, the job done better than using Perkunte with Orfina. They're just very, very strong. And in here as well, you can always drop her because you don't really need uh, you don't really need her in there. And you can bring in another damage dealer. If you have an amazing uh, uh, an amazing damage dealer, there are not many for the for the Thunderbolt, so probably you're going to have to look at uh, something else. Maybe an Imbus again, you know, some some uh, some Dauntless characters that are able to do some some form of damage on a, on their own, you know, because uh, there isn't really room for you to bring any other any other lightning thunderbolt characters. Yeah, I feel like Terrivol can be great. Probably is one of the best uh, the best options. Uh, he's not great for it because he needs the dauntless characters, you know. But just kind of like uh, an idea, guys. You can definitely make a few a few different teams and see what uh, what result you're getting. Of course, they will be better than the team that I just showed you with epics. Uh, but I doubt that it will be better than uh, this team. Let me know in the comments down below if you are planning to attack this boss first. Keep in mind, as I suggested, look what teams you have available. Try to kind of like rank your six teams. This is the weakest. This is the strongest. Always use your stronger teams first and try to basically hit the weakest bosses first as well. If you can, it's going to be a win-win. But that was all for this video, guys. Thanks to Dragoner for sponsoring the video. And if you want to get involved, you can click the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment or scan the QR code to download the game now. Much love, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.